You wouldn't think it, but winter is actually prime flowering time for many species. We welcome the winter season. While evergreen trees and shrubs are the obvious choice for a garden with year-round appeal, there are many additional options for bringing unexpected bursts of color to the winter landscape. Winter flowers, whether planted in beds or containers, can bring welcome color and cheer to the darkest days of the year. This video will go through the top eight winter flowers that will bring color to your garden this season. Number one, hellebore. These blooms, often known as Lenten roses, are quite stunning and worth seeking out. Depending on your latitude, they show up anywhere between the middle and end of winter, typically around the beginning of Lent. Thanks to their luscious petals and vivid hue, they are an absolute must have. These perennials can withstand harsh winters and can be grown in a wide variety of climates. Each species of hellebore has its own unique hardiness requirements, although generally speaking, they may be grown in USDA hardiness zones three to nine. Number two, snowdrop. These delicate blooms, as their name implies, spring up when snow is still lying. Galanthus, more commonly known as snowdrops, are a robust perennial despite its fragile appearance. When they bloom in the late winter or early spring, their tiny white and green blossoms hang down like a breath of fresh air. The snowdrop is a forest flower that can be planted in USDA plant hardiness zones three through seven. Number three, cyclamen. Despite its success as a perennial ground cover in warmer climates, Cyclamen is more commonly associated with being an indoor plant. Plant them where they will receive full light in the winter and partial shade in the summer beneath deciduous or leaf dropping trees. The hardiness zone range for cyclamen is four to eight. Number four, camellia. These evergreen shrubs are perfect for southern gardens because of their glossy foliage and magnificent, luxuriant blossoms that may be enjoyed throughout the year. Pick a variety that will flower in the winter from the many available. Believe me, the flowers will look lovely if you can coax them into bloom during the winter. Zones seven to 10 are optimal for camellias. Number five, winter jasmine. In the dead of winter, this plant bursts into brilliant yellow bloom along its arching branches. Though it lacks the fragrance of other jasmines, this kind can brighten a dreary day with its cheerful appearance. The slopes are another excellent location for this choice. U.S. de hardiness zones six through 10 are ideal for growing winter jasmine. Number six, winter aconite. It is hardy in USDA plant hardiness zones four through seven. The blossoms of the winter aconite, also known as winter yarrow, are a brilliant yellow. The little circular clumps of plants develop to a height of three to six inches. The frothy plants and flowers frequently appear out of the snow. It's best to plant bulbs in the fall so that they can keep coming back year after year. Number seven, Scylla. Scylla, also known as Siberian squill, is a beautiful plant for front of borders and rock gardens thanks to its tiny blue blooms and strap-like leaves. They can withstand freezing temperatures for long periods of time. In USDA hardiness zones four through eight, Scylla can survive the winter. Number eight, primrose. These lovely perennial blooms will survive even the harshest winters. It all depends on your latitude as to whether they flower in the late winter or early spring. There is a wide variety available, therefore it is important to select a species that is suited to your region's hardiness zone. 
Generally speaking, prime roses can survive in climate zones three to eight. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.